Hey there, everybody. What's up? I'm back. That's what's up. Not only am I back to this setting because I'm back home, I went away for the holidays, now I'm back, but also I'm back to making videos because I got myself a brand new microphone. Here we go. The old microphone, well, it was his time, at least uh, for the time being. And I can, there's still a possibility that I can fix it if this microphone doesn't work out, then I'm going to do that. And the first video I'm going to record with this new microphone is an honest, is a real, is a trailer reaction to the newest honest trailer for Zack Snyder's Justice League. Now I had a pretty long review on it on my channel. What I think about uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League, you can check out my thoughts on it there. But um, yeah, I, for the most part, I enjoyed it. I thought it was better than the theatrical version, but it was needlessly long with too many slow motion shots and random songs put in in not the best uh, moments. At the, at the end of the day, I felt like it was a it was an improvement over the theatrical cut, but it was completely unnecessary and definitely didn't need all the uh, internet craze that happened over this movie. Now let's see if the honest trailer people feel the same with their uh, opinions on this Zack Snyder's Justice League movie. It's nine minutes long, which is one of the longest um, honest trailers ever. It's still not as long as the Snyder Cat is the Zack Snyder movie, but whatever. Anyways, let's see what they think about Zack Snyder's Justice League. Here we go. This episode is sponsored by Google Play with the help of Crash Bandicoot on the run. From the director of the Justice League trailer comes the film that rose from the ashes to redeem that burnt orange tire fire, transforming it from a movie that was two hours long and terrible to a movie that's four hours long and <laughs> mediocre, proving once and for all if you want to look great by comparison. Just stand next to Joss Whedon. The Snyder Cut, for real this time. <laughs> All the Prepare for a film that wouldn't exist without a powerful league uniting behind it. Joining the internet's most devoted fans of targeted harassment, creatively bankrupt WB execs, a parent company who would happily piss on the ashes of the last movie theater to sell more broadband, the writer who sharded out Rise of Skywalker, and a director who was already self-indulgent before he formatted a film for IMAX knowing it would be released on a streaming service. I think he just liked how the bars added more darkness to every scene, right? That's free darkness right there, baby. Point. Dark side is another little word now. Take Black a miss, suit bitch. up for an entirely different take on the theatrical release. Except for its plot, setting, main characters, and themes. Yep. Where, if you recall, a gray CGI monster covered in spikes wants to destroy the world. Who's out to impress his gray CGI monster boss. But this time, follow in excruciating detail as this gray CGI monster reports his progress to his gray CGI monster boss's <laughs> gray CGI monster executive assistant. <laughs> Decide. Decide. I call to thee. I have found one of the three. The one that woke and called. Let me make a play to him. Four hours long, home. guys. Four Faster hours long. This is why. The two mother boxes. I've been able to fill Four hours years long. Before my deep dark side came. No protectors the here. No lanterns. The anti-life equation is carved into the surface of this very world. Meanwhile, Batman is still assembling a team of heroes to protect the Earth, where they will work together to bring back Superman and quickly prove that there's no point to a Justice League once you brought back Superman. Ah! Honestly, they have nothing to do besides stand in a neat little line together. And they do that quite often. Good job, team. Okay, Soups, take it from here. Christ With two man, and a half Casablanca's assemble. worth of runtime to fill, everyone's getting more character depth. Like Aquaman, who doesn't want to live under the sea, but doesn't want to be where the people are either, because the surface world is full of horny Bjorks. 
The Flash, who's ditched the awkward jokes. Dostoevsky. For awkwardly Dostoevsky. touching his wiener next to Iris West. <laughs> Batman, who has so little to offer the team, they give him and Alfred a little airplane to work on as a treat. Best minds of Wayne Aerospace couldn't make it fly. Oh, Christ. And Cyborg, where the change from Joss Whedon to Zack Snyder is most apparent. Oh yeah. True. The world. Watch Ray Fisher shine as the emotional heart of the story and the heir to Batman's mantle of depression, <laughs> who's lost his body, lost his parents, and might be the only college football star to risk losing his place on the team for academic violations. That doesn't mean he can hack into our system to change his friend's grades. You know this dude plays for Gotham U and they just beat a Big Ten program like Wisconsin? Not only does he get a pass for hacking grades, there's a 90% chance Bruce Wayne just bought him an Escalade. <laughs> Epic buns. Ooh. Prepare your anus for Snyder's trademark brand of muscular visual filmmaking. Ooh. Packed to the brim with honks allergic to their own shirts. <laughs> oh, that was good. Yep. This is what you get in a Zack Snyder movie. Boo. Boo that woman. <laughs> Where every action scene got immeasurably better thanks to new additions like Amazon horse violence. <laughs> Atlantean bloodbending. The gods of Olympus reminding Darkseid who's the daddy. Extreme sesame seed close-ups. And heroes who take time to inspire the next generation before their victims' brains have even finished dripping down the walls. Can I be like you someday? You can be anything you want to be. But man, at the risk of beating a dead Superman, this guy loves his slow motion. Yes, he does! I mean, come on. The Flash's super speed gets the same treatment as Lois Lane putting down a cup of coffee. True. Is her drink going back in time? Or is she just extra sad about her husband? Are we done yet? So gather <laughs> round for the epic culmination of a mass movement built around the sincere belief that it wasn't enough for Zack Snyder to do whatever he wanted for two box office disappointments. It's not enough that grim superhero storytelling is basically its own genre now. Yep. No, this film had to exist in its purest form. Or rather, this film always existed in its purest form, and the $70 million Warner spent on it was for, uh, snacks or something. But now that it's finally here, Snyder's biggest fans can finally lay down their arms and be satisfied that their hero's journey got a proper ending. Oh, come on! Restore so wait Snyder. as you pass by scenes that were clearly setting up multiple sequels, teasing fans with the ultimate fantasy of watching Darkseid and Superman take the rest of Earth to Pound Town, ensuring that every tweet, article, or public statement about Warner Brothers will get swarmed with a hashtag Restore the Snyderverse, something that will never, ever happen. Until DC's annual firing of the executives and the next ones make it happen. Bullying remains undefeated, y'all. Wait, it's still not over? <laughs> that was a natural Joker place to stop. stop. <sighs> Welcome entirely new additions like Martian Manhunter, whose appearance Just raises nothing. questions like, where the f*** has Martian Manhunter yes! been? And how often has he hit the town disguised as Diane Lane? And Jared Leto's Joker finally sharing a scene with Ben Affleck's Batman. I mean, they clearly didn't film together, but you can yeah. imagine what it would be like if they finally shared a scene. Who's gonna give they you a ritual? They weren't even in the same room together when this happened. It would suck. Okay, this thing is way too long, and I've been holding in pee since part four. Can you just roll every time they say mother box? I'll be right back. <gasps> mother boxes. 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 All right, time for starring. What? Daddy oh, okay. wore bats. I'm rich. Wonder Woman, restorer of ancient art and antiquities. And Never mind. Okay. It's not a phase, Mom. This is who I am now. <laughs> Every high team needs an IT guy. Debbie Drowner. I want to be left alone. This is a bad idea. His father's dead because of us. Quip Silver. Mr. T. <laughs> the watering first, Mr. so we don't tea. scald the tea. No, that's probably enough tea. And then leave it to mash. Big City Elegy. <gasps> Put the spikes back on! Put the spikes back on! Is this movie rushing or dragging? It's dragging. Maybe this <laughs> guy should stop dragging. working with robots. 
The boar is lava. The boar I'm is made of lava. rocks, as you can see. I don't let that intimidate you. <laughs> Martha Manhunter. Martha Manhunter. The living Hunter. joke. Mira's accent. The firstborn of beloved Queen Atlanta. You are the yeah, firstborn son of Queen Atlanta. And your mama's box is so smelly, Steppenwolf can track it halfway across the globe. You have been near a mother box. The scent is on you. Oh! Justice League. Bigger, longer, and uncut. <laughs> nice. Working on an ID sketch? <laughs> Where did they find that sketch artist? The leprechaun guy? <laughs> this episode is sponsored by Google Play. Download Crash Bandicoot on the run and discover more on Google Play now. Hey there, fellow travelers. I'm trying my best, Mom. I never actually said this sentence. Screen Junkies now has a synthetic approximation of my voice made from previous recordings. Okay. Well, it's... I don't think this has ever happened that I completely 100% agreed with everything they said in the Honest Trailer. Like, occasionally I would I would agree with most of their points, but this time it was it was just crazy. I mean, everything they just said I completely agree with. Like the slow motion shots, the stupid songs they mentioned that taking off people's shirts for some reason. And let me reiterate, I enjoyed the movie, okay? I liked the movie. It did not need to be four hours long. And it did not need to be as excessive as it is. I don't know. But I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be suckered into another rant about the movie. If you like the movie then that's great for you. If you didn't, then go ahead and watch the uh, theatrical version and uh Enjoy it for what it is. And uh, if you enjoyed this Honest Trailer, you can let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think about this Honest Trailer. Let me know what you think about my reaction. Let me know if you agree or disagree with my points. And let me know how much you hate me for not liking the Snyder Cut uh, movie. In any case, uh, that's all I have uh, for now. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed me and my brand new microphone. So, uh, see you some other time. Hello again, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Because I really enjoyed making it. So, if you like what you've seen here, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more awesome content like this. So, until next time, guys, I'll see you guys next time.